I'm in Toronto, Canada. I've literally just arrived from uh, New York LaGuardia Airport with uh, WestJet, and I'm about to continue on with them to London Gatwick. Now, I don't have that many subscribers here in Canada, so if you are living in Canada, hit that subscribe button. But the ones that I do have, a lot of them have been asking me to fly this flight. That is the new WestJet 787 into London Gatwick uh, in business class. That's what I'm doing tonight. To see how it compares to um, the Air Canada service and their life flatbeds in business class, and also obviously the new BA business class that I've just done. Now, WestJet doesn't have their own lounge here at uh, Toronto yet. However, they are, well, they're building one. Uh, they're using the, pre the, blah, 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 the Plaza Premium Lounge at the moment. Uh, let's go there now and uh, have a coffee. I think I need it. And then that uh, will fly to London Gatwick. Let's go. This was a pretty stock standard airport lounge with lots of people, some good food options, and most importantly, coffee. All right, let's head to the gate and uh, have a look at tonight's ride. Your videos many you? times. Oh, yes. Thank Welcome to our business cabin. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, I'm interested you in a champagne, our signature Western drink, or an orange juice. What's the signature drink? Oh, it's delicious. It's gold peak green tea, a little bit of cranberry juice, uh, and a lemon wedge. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to have the champagne. Yes. yes cool. Thank By all you. means. I'll set that right here for you. Thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy. First impressions, absolutely sensational. So, uh, cheers. Here's to a great flight. Unfortunately, the window seats on this flight were all taken by the time I'd booked. So, sorry, the taxi and takeoff footage is not the best, as I had to do it from a distance. As we take off, here's a blatant plug for my Instagram, and yet another reminder to subscribe to my channel. I promise that if I ever get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll stop asking. Before I get into the flight, I just want to give a shout out to Dashlane who are sponsoring this video. Dashlane have been very supportive of the aviation YouTubing community and they've got a great product, so this is definitely worth listening to. Dashlane is a password manager and digital identity app. I've been using it for over a year now and I love it. It's made my life both easier and more secure. Rather than having to remember dozens of passwords and which email addresses they're linked to, I now only have to remember one. Their auto-fill feature saves heaps of time and the one-step checkout process means I no longer have to type out my credit card details when shopping online. It's brilliant. And no, these aren't my real credit card details, but yes, the system really is this easy to use. Their VPN connection is great for traveling when I'm using public Wi-Fi networks and it just got even better because now you can choose your VPN server location from 23 different countries. So you can access content globally that would otherwise be blocked. Dashlane are giving my viewers a special offer. Basically, you get to try Dashlane free on one device, and then if you like it, you get 10% off their premium subscription. To get started, simply click on the link below and use the coupon code Dennis. The business class cabin on the WestJet 787 is just four rows, laid out in a one-to-one -one configuration so that every passenger has direct dial access. The best seats for couples, 
you guessed it, it's those in the middle. This screen opens up so you can see your partner. It also closes just in case you need a break from each other. Now, let's have a look at these seats. Sorry for the quality of the footage. The dark colour scheme and the subdued lighting on this night flight was great for custom experience, but not ideal for filming. These seats are very similar to the Cathay Pacific, Air Canada and the new British Airways seats. They are a very good practical design with plenty of space to spread out. The seats themselves were comfortable and offered good support. Adjusting them was easy using this control panel. There were plenty of storage spaces. The main one is right next to you and is also where you'll find the USB port, the headphone jack, entertainment remote and universal PowerPoint. Next to this is a smaller compartment, perfect for voice recorders and mobile phones. Above this is a cool looking magazine rack. Further storage can be found in the armrest, where you can fit a full size water bottle and the entertainment system headphones. The armrest can also be raised and lowered as required. The final bit of storage is right next to your knees. The tray table comes out from under the entertainment screen. It's well designed and provides a good sturdy work surface. The wrap around design of these seat pods means that you have a great sense of privacy without feeling boxed in. A small amenities kit was provided. However, I was informed by the crew that this was actually the premium economy kit and not the proper business class kit. I assumed that this was a loading error or they had simply run out of the business class kits. Still, this one was pretty good and contained the essentials of an eye mask, earplugs and lip balm. Westjet are very proud of their business class service. This card shows just how much thought has been put into the design elements of their meals. I was also very impressed with the service provided by the cabin crew. They clearly loved their job and knew exactly which passengers were happy to engage and which ones just wanted to be left alone to rest and sleep. Once in the air, my usual post takeoff drink arrived, gin and tonic. This one was served with savoury popcorn. It was then time for dinner. Here's a quick look at the menu. WestJet offers dining on demand, however this being a relatively short overnight flight, it made sense to have dinner straight after departure and breakfast before arrival. To save time, the crew took our dinner orders before departure. I started with the smoked salmon and crab timbale, which was beautifully presented and delicious. For mains, I went with WestJet's signature dish, braised Alberta beef short rib. This too was excellent. For dessert, I couldn't go past the pecan pie. If after all of this you're still hungry, there are plenty of snacks available in the galley. During dinner, I did quickly check out the entertainment system. It was easy to use and there were plenty of choices for your viewing, listening and reading pleasure. To demonstrate the excellent quality of the screen, here's some shots of a short film about releasing bison back into the wild. By now I'd hit the wall, so it was time to sleep. As expected, the seat converts into a fully flat bed with a pillow and quilt provided. It was a pretty comfortable bed, but as with all seats of this design, the leg space is a bit restricted. I slept for a solid two and a half hours before it was time to wake up. Still full from dinner, I skipped breakfast, electing instead to have a cup of tea in bed.
that was a sensational flight. Thank you. Thank you again. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye. So that was WestJet. And I must say, I was really, really impressed. Every aspect of that flight was really good. Uh, the aircraft, obviously the beautiful 787, uh, the hard product, that is the seats, uh, really comfortable, everything worked, very practical design, food, delicious. But the best bit was uh, the crew, the service on board, uh, which was that nice, wonderful, warm, uh, Canadian hospitality. They are amongst the most friendly people in the world. And uh, they, uh, they really showed that this time. So uh, they really made the flight. Uh, Stephen and the rest of the cabin crew, thank you very much for looking after me. Um, had a great little chat with the pilots in the, uh, the cockpit afterwards. Thanks guys, really appreciated that too. Uh, on the basis of this, would I fly uh, west yet again? Most definitely yes. Uh, they get a massive thumbs up from me, so uh, yeah, brilliant. Look, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and then check out my channel where you'll find a whole lot of other reviews and a lot more on the way. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.